Yugo Import of Serbia has unique capability to provide customers with a complete range of artillery systems. That is not only the actual weapon, it's ammunition, which is projectile, charge and fuse, but also the key target acquisition system, which in fact can be ground or air base. Behind me is their latest Nora. That's a 155mm 52 calibre self-propelled artillery system based on an 8x8 cross-country chassis. And that has already been in production for a number of export customers. Maximum range depends on the projectile in charge, but firing a high explosive extended range full bore base bleed, you can go out to about 42 kilometres, which is pretty good. The weapon is normally fired over the rear arc, and to provide a more stable firing position, four stabilisers are lowered to the ground to either side. The 8x8 chassis is normally a CAMAS, and in addition to being used for the Nora, it's also used as the basis for the Alexander artillery system, which we'll show you in a minute, and also for a long-range rocket system. That's an 8x8 vehicle, central tyre system, and has got um, a good cross-country mobility. If we look in front of the, the weapon, you can see actually the ammunition, because the whole part of any artillery system really is not necessarily the platform, but the ammunition. And on the right side, you can see the charge system, and on the left side, the high explosive ram. Well, it's very slender shape, uh, and it's base bleed unit. And we said they can provide a complete artillery capability. And on the right side is really an old Russian gun, the 130mm M46, which has got a range of about 27 kilometres. And what Serbia has done is to take the old barrel off and upgrade it and fit it with a 155 40 calibre gun barrel, which fires NATO ammunition. So that's really a cost-effective method of upgrading old artillery systems. If you see here, it's what I call in the fire position. You can see the big muzzle brake. When travelling, the Trials are closed and the gun is pulled back outside of the battery, we call it outside of battery, and the limber attached and then it's redeployed. So this can fire standard NATO ammunition um, and it's been developed and tested, uh, but so far, as far as we know, has not entered production. The next generation is my favourite Alexander, which was first shown two years ago. And what is this? It's got the same chassis and mounted on the rear is the remote controlled ordnance, which has got 12 rounds in the ready-to-fire position, and it's got additional rounds here. So once it's carried out its fire mission, it will automatically reload. So it's got a reduced crew compared with the other one, but it's got the same capability. You know, firing an EIF base speed round, it will go out to 42 kilometers. So that's the next generation, but they are complementary systems. The key feature of this one is fully automated and has reduced crew compartment. But like the other one, it's mounted on a cross-country chassis, which gives it very good strategic mobility, enabling it to be deployed from one part of the country to the other.